Welcome to Inside Out Boys with your host, Cody Bass. Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Big hello to all the new subscribers. Thank you for subscribing. Um, hey, do you like them there, Yamaha? Ha, ha, ha. Them there, Yamaha Snatch, Yamaha Outboard, you like them? Well, just so happens that uh, I have bear season coming up. Bar. Bear. Them Kodiak bars. So, I've had a few guys get me their motors in here. And it just so happens that about, oh, I don't know, four of them are Yamaha. So, I don't think we'll get to all of them this video here, but we're going to start on them. The first one we're going to do is mine. And all I'm going to be doing is show you this little latch eye deal I came up with. And we're going to see if that works on my little four. Then we're going to look at a 15 from one of my bar guides. And he asked me if I could have it ready by the end of the week. And I said, I shall try. And uh, I don't even know if there's anything wrong with it. It's just been, but I know I've had it since last fall. Because due to the COVID virus, they canceled spring bear season this year. So the last time this engine was run was last fall. Um, and I've had it ever since out here on the rack. So we're going to bring it in here and <laughs> wake it up. And then, uh, then I got a pair of little eights um, from the outfitter. So we're going to bring that in here and get going on that. So what do you say we get on these Yamahas and get at it? right down the road but <laughs> too many people it is way okay before I get started on the 15 Yamaha I want to get this latch on my uh, little Yamaha what I came up with is I'm gonna bolt this right there and I'm going to shave that off, and we're going to go with that there, one of those thingies. And it'll be held on by, this is one of those riser deals that go on a an outboard for the... Uh, throttle part the rise riser in the so I, once I shave that off I'll bolt that there we'll see how that works all right I got my cut off wheel I 
think that'll do. So, we need to have that probably right about in there. I need a bigger drill bit. Stannis. What I did is if you look in here, I put a nice big backing washer and then a little lock washer and then I put a regular nut and a nylock nut so that ain't going nowhere. That's going to stay nice and tight and the vibrations ain't going to hurt it. If you look in there, hopefully you can see it, I've got a regular nut plus a nylock so that ain't going nowhere because these are you know high vibrating little motors the two so let's see how it work in the front I have the original latch that just snaps in place like that and in the back I now have that And that looks like it'll do. Good, good and on there, nice and tight now. So that'll be easy enough. So I didn't have one of the latches, so that will have to suffice.
A little 15 yummy. There's part of his sticker. Linkage, throttle, all that works. I can't remember. I'll have to look at my notes. And see if he... Well, we'll just put it in the tank. See if it'll start. How about that? That's what I say, dude. Spark plug. Jesus. Putty rusty. Let's see what it is. I have a set. And then a new set because it's a little rusty. They look pretty guide worn. BR7 Mike JS10. A little bit on the rusty side. She was firing though pretty good on that cylinder. Nice and tan. We do a spark them and check them just cuz them. Cuz them. And she was firing too, but it definitely looks a little less tan. So, let's get out for check off. So, yeah, we just put that one back up. Get it where it needs to be. You'll understand. This is just a, a safety interlock so that when you're you can't start it in gear, it disables the recoil starter. So just tighten that right there where it is and it won't do that stupid. Necessary and all that. It just ain't necessary. Just ain't necessary. <laughs> I'm spark checking the heck out of it, ain't I? Be snow. So that's so. There. So we got good sparky. Well, I didn't think I did, but I did. Have a nice set of NGK B7HS tans. So we will put them in there instead of them old salt water rusty. Yes, we will. This engine belongs to a bear guide over on the mainland. And he comes over here and guides people from all over the world. That's what I said. The world. There's been celebrities come here. There's been royalty come here. You know, people with the ch 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 chain. They come here to hunt these big giant. Oh, use it. Use it. Put a little on this, or a lot on a ceramic, like that. Big blob on the ceramic. That's going to help you get that. Spark plug booty off there. Rub it around on the ceramic, then come over the tip. Rub it around on the ceramic, come over the tip. Ooh. Okay. Now, I don't know which one's top and which one's bottom. I forgot to look. I don't know. I'm going to go with that. We'll see what happens. <laughs> I could back the video up, I guess. Oh, that's top. 
got that thing. So I'm gonna, that's top. That's what I'm gonna say. I'm gonna believe it until it otherwise proves me wrong. Let's get this thing into town. See what happened. So, uh, see what the happened with this thing, yeah? Let's get her in there. <laughs> Tank. I don't allow my tank water to get dirty. Understand? You can drink it. Really now? Wouldn't you want to take a big old gulp of that? Mm, yummy. Yummy. Look at that. Yeah, I wouldn't advise it. I wouldn't be advertising advising it. Oh. Okay. Got to find me a Yamaha fitting. Got this thing so tucked under here. And you know what it says? Right on the side, don't you do it either. It says 100 to 1. Yeah, they put that mix 100 to 1, and that immediately, that little sticker, Evan Rude did it, they, all the two strokers did it, that immediately cut their emissions by 50%. Sure did. And it immediately cut the engine life on many of these motors in half as well. There, go. Going in. A little tight. I see it in the fuel bowl. Okay, let's see what happens in here. This little yammer snatch. Pull to some choke.
Is my light on? Ba -ba. Now, I wish they were all that easy. Took out some rusty spark plugs. started right up. Um, he didn't tell me if anything was wrong. He didn't know, I don't think, because he had some of his peepuses. Bring it over here, you understand? Last fall. And then he should have been over here to guide bar hunters uh, this spring. But the COVID virus, uh, our governor put a uh, a ban on anybody coming into Alaska for well they could come in right at right at spring bear season when it was happening they could come in but they had to self quarantine for 14 days and uh, so that would most people's hunts are not even 14 days they generally go on like a week long hunt um, so uh, so that X snake the bear snake you understand this thing so they couldn't do no bear hunting in the spring, so I've had that motor since last fall, sitting there on the rack. And uh, she started right up, she's good to go. I think he'll be able to count on it for him and his clients and make some cha-ching. So, let me get this one switched back out. We'll get one of the little eights in here and see what it's got going on with it. Uh, the first eight yarmie yeah, that I'm bringing in, the owner said he couldn't get it to start in neutral because he couldn't give it any gas so it wouldn't start so that sounds just like some cable linkage issues and I don't know if it's going to have more wrong with it uh, he also he's not a bear guide he's what they call an outfitter so what he does and this is the worst of the worst He rents these outboards out. Oh, he rents them out. And you want to see an outboard get abused and destroyed? I get people in here all the time. Hey, we're going to go do this trip for some deer or some ducks or some fish or some da 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 da. Can we rent one of your outboards? Oh, no. Here's how you rent my outboard you pay my purchase price for it. And then if you want to bring it back to me, you can. But no, no, no. No rentum. No rentum the outboard. But that's what this one coming in here. Uh, that's its life story. I believe I put the power head on this, this particular motor last year, year before last, or whatever. And it left here a good running little power head, and it got rented. Like a rented mule, is my guess. So let me get them swapped out. I'll be right back. Nice little halibut there. Um, a friend of mine brought this to me. He caught a couple of them this morning. I'll get four nice big fillets off of that. Or did I do it wrong? No, I got it right. This is the perfect eating size, really. So there's four fillets and two cheeks. And then I just take them.
it's got nice new plugs in it. But we're gonna do the spark on check and look at it. Ain't no way that gap is 30. Interesting. Interesting. Let me get the flashlight on here. Can you see the gap on that? It is virtually closed. I don't know if the camera's going to pick it up. There is no gap on that plug at all. It is just slammed to it. And the top one has a little gap, but barely any. Okay. Here's what the gap should have looked like. That's set at 30. <laughs> yeah, I mean... Interesting. Interesting con esto! Let's get out this... Oh, I'm gonna check on me. Why was them plugs almost closed? Well, the one was closed. Right there? No, maybe not. Hang right there. It's going to arky sparky, I believe, if I don't, if I don't put the little rag in there or something. Ooh, good heart. You in there? I didn't even check. Oh, yeah, you're in there. Didn't talk to you. Didn't get good blocky. Good spooky spooky. do just cause just cause I'm gonna check the lash on this thing real quick and the way that I do that and the way that you do that to get you a little something something when that piston's up at the top like that one is now it's starting to go down so it's going down, it's stretching that conrod. So it's on its way down. Now what you do is hold the flywheel. Don't let it turn. And see if you hear any noise. Okay, I didn't hear nothing on that one. Bring this one up. There's top. She's starting to go down now. Hold the flywheel. That was just my screwdriver. I don't feel no rod slop in there. I just wanted to check that because of the way I found these plugs. So if you hear a big boom when you do that, you've got that piston all stretched out coming on the downstroke, and you put your screwdriver in there and you feel a boom, some play and a little thump, you can have some Conrad problems. 
but this one feels good and tight, so I'm guessing some somebody were in here. Somebody was messing with the plug. B7HS plugs in the thing. They tell you right on them. Danger. What does that say? It says danger. High voltage. Help take tension. High tension. With high tension needs. He'll tell you, dang it, knock the crap out of you. Well, at this point, okay, he said that, see, it's got some movement on this. Oh, yeah, it ain't moving out of hardly at all, though. So, how can I adjust it? He's, his complaint, one of the complaints is he can't give it any throttle at all to help it idle. And it ain't, it, and that's because they're slopping that thing, it looks like. It ain't moving the butterfly here at all. It don't even move much. What the heck's causing that one? Yeah, the butterfly ain't even opening much. Unless I do that. Is that a cable throttle thing, maybe? the same in reverse as he's getting forward, that ain't right. Yeah, I think that's a cable adjustment. He should be so that he's there's a if you look what I'm looking at my light on Right here, watch the cable, it kind of folds out. See that, that little moment right there? Right there. So that's slack in that cable. Then when I come for his butterfly, it opens, but it should open, open. And that's because that cable's sloppy, so I'll have to adjust that. But, let's see if it'll start. You never know. You just never know about these tanks. Get her in the tank. Chokum. That ain't no uh, joke em. And see what we get them. Stay tuned for part two on Inside Out Boys with Cody Bass. Don't forget to subscribe.